Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mariah, and today is going to be another movie review for the movie Loka. Right off the bat, this is another Pixar and Disney movie that just came out. Um, I really wasn't really looking forward to this one because I was like, oh, I'm going to give it a try because, you know, it's been the Disney Pixar movie. Lately, I've been feeling Pixar. Um, well, I can't believe Pixar because Pixar gave us all the great movies like Toy Story, Monsters, Inc. I, you know, like the good movies like that. And the Toy Story franchise, like the series-wise, is great. The movie Luca, by the way, is this going to be another short movie review because I just got straight up opinions to tell you about this movie because there's... Um, it's basically about sea monsters that live under the ocean, kind of like a Little Mermaid vibe when I go started watching it. Um, you know, what's up there? Very curious, wants to know what's above, um, this world of his. He has a very imaginative, uh, mind. He imagines a lot, and this movie is very cute. I gotta say, when it came to comedy-wise, like, um, you know, like, normally there's funny jokes in here. I don't know, like, just funny things, like, funny characters, like, animals, like, cute things, you know? The only thing I found funny in this whole movie, which is probably the stupidest thing ever, which is the stupid fish that they portray as goats in the film for the sea monsters like you know the way of living all they do is take these fish out to go eat and then bring them back so these fish that play goats in this movie um the only thing i thought was funny when he's trying to hurdle them all together as a group and one of them just keeps slowly drifting off and trying to leave the herd so that's the only scene i found throughout this whole movie was funny um this movie was animation wise was very beautiful to look at i enjoyed the bright, vibrant colors and the animation was really good as well. I didn't find the animation annoying. The one thing I did find annoying um, about this movie, I know I'm just being picky, but this is just me. This is my movie review. Um, the mom. The mom literally irritated the dad. Okay, the mom and the dad irritated me because this, I was like, I didn't even know he was his dad until like, they acknowledged it because as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, that's just his uncle. He has a single mom. That's different. You know, like, no, he, this is his dad. I'm all, this dad has is clueless to what is going on in his family like it's like it's so weird and obviously you could tell the mom's like the headstrong the mom of the household like she runs the house but the dad's like so clueless you don't really get to know the dad that much other than that he's dumb because that's what i got off of that was that the dad was really not there and just dumb um he's dorky looking as well and then plus on top of it on top of it the mom i don't know what it was that she reminded me of and all I could compare her to is a dinosaur in my brain because I kept thinking like why is her nose like it's not a dinosaur it's that cartoon that used to come on or tv show the with the beak the long thing they show on Beetlejuice that kind of character I, I, I don't know I didn't like how they made the mom in general I don't know I just don't like how she looked um in the animation I just thought she could have been a little bit more cuter I guess I don't know I just didn't like the look of her as a sea monster let alone as her as a human it's just the nose proportion wise just threw me off gave me like a Phineas and Ferb vibe and I didn't like that um but the movie overall was very cute it was just another Pixar movie and it was trying to be heartwarming and stuff like that but I really couldn't connect to this movie it's just like another movie that oh you could just plop your kid in front of that came out I didn't see it as a cute movie that I gotta watch over and over again like the other Disney classics. I just think this one was a miss. Honestly, the storyline was um, very creative. I give it that monsters. They see humans as monsters because, you know, that's it makes sense. You know, we're humans and they don't know nothing about us. So they portray us as monsters and we portray them as monsters because we don't know what the hell they are. Um, they were very creative. I like how cool they would switch into human when they dry and then, you know, monsters when they got wet. I like how that scene, the only scene I also thought was funny was the cat because I love cats and it was very funny how it would always get angry and it would just stare down these kids like, what the hell? I know what you are. It just, it was just cute. Um, but I still highly recommend you guys give it a try because this is just my opinion, but I do feel like this movie was a straight up miss from Disney and Pixar because I felt like it could have been more. I felt like there could have been more comedy in it. I didn't like how it ended as, as well. And on top of it, hold on, let me give you a brief summary so you guys know what I'm talking about right here. Um, Luca has been always been curious about the world on top. Um, he's a curious boy, but he's also cautious, which means that he is very uh, unsure um, about breaking the rules. Like, he's very cautious. Like, he does not want to break the rules at all. He does not want to have to answer up to his mom. He does not want to stick up to his mom. So he just flies by the rules. This kid, on the other hand, that he ends up meeting is totally on his own. His dad left him. I don't even know what the huge issue was, was with that story was, but his dad left him and he's just been living on his own this whole time. 
But the difference between him and Luca is that he, he's been living on top of the surface instead of in the water. But he's been living his whole time out of the water and he's been going back and forth. He just never visit the city where the real humans live. He's just been on his own little island. So when Luca finds him and meets him for the first time, he kind of brings Luca out of his shell. He becomes best friends with him. He also, they start to break up dreams together about running away. And you know, like they, they just start a really beautiful, cute friendship. And it's just kind of cool and funny to see because like there's this kid that's shy and freaking terrified of doing anything remotely fun um, that is kind of dangerous, uh, like jumping off a cliff for instance. And this kid's like, just forget it. Let's let's just do it. He just drags the fun out of Luca, makes him do things that he never would have done before. So this he kind of brings Luca out of his shell in a way. And they have this dream about getting a Vesta, which is a like a scooter thingy. So that's what they call it in this movie. So their dream is to actually get one and buy one. Let alone they don't know it costs money to get one. So they have to join this huge race to win prize money to win the the Vesta that they want. Um. So that's basically summarizing it all up. Two major things that I didn't like about this movie that really did bug me, which is one, I appreciate that Pixar or Disney try to embrace the culture by bringing in their language and their um, accents in a way. Um, I appreciate that, I really do, but the only complaint I have was that they were talking so fast that I couldn't even capture what they were saying. And then on top of that, I put my subtitles on I still couldn't understand what they were saying because they're speaking in Italian language and it was just confusing and I don't I understand they would try to give us that a feel for the culture but I just couldn't understand what I was saying and then it was kind of just irritating me because I was trying to pick up on what they're saying and I couldn't pick up on what they were saying. Um, the second thing I also didn't like about this movie was the ending. The ending threw me off. I did not like how it ended. I just I just didn't like it. Um, you show us these two kids that make a beautiful friendship together, have a goal together, accomplish that goal together, and then it French and then the friendship ends up ending at the end. I don't like that. I like happy endings. To me, this could have been like, oh, that's a cool ending. A friend sacrificed his happiness for his other friend. No, um, I don't like that. I just feel like it could have ended in a different way. I mean, like, what is up with this place? This place don't have school. Like, I don't get why he had to go away for that and then plus on top of that he meets this girl that he ends up starting like a new friendship with but I don't know this is just my opinion I just felt like you had your friend that you is a monster like you and and helped you break out of your shy shell and then you just ditch him for a girl that's actual straight up human and meets this girl and ends up just being totally factuated with all her knowledge of the human world is fascinated about um, what she knows and wants to learn more. So that's where Luca ends up getting at. It's just that he doesn't do it intentionally to leave his best friend. He's just very fascinated about the human world and wants to learn more about it and what everything is. But I just didn't like how he just left his friend like that because I just felt like they both deserved more and their friendship could have been so much more because it's kind of like a rush friendship, but you get um that they do have the same motives and imagination as each other and how one and another help each other one one helped the other break out of a shell and luca helped him by being his friend and helping him not feel alone anymore and letting him know that he always has a friend or people to come to now especially his parents but i don't know i just didn't like how this movie ended in general uh i just felt like it could have ended in a very different way but that's how it ended other than that, guys, that's basically going to be it for my movie review because it's a short one. Um, for the movie Loka, out of five stars, it's basically only going to get a two-star rating. The animation, the cartoon was good. I just seriously think it had a lack of comedy. The animation, the color, uh, vibrant colors, voice actors in this movie, everything visual-wise and hearing-wise I felt was great about this movie. But when it came to like getting down deep into this movie... I just felt like it was a flop. Like, Disney, Disney, Pixar, like, you need to get us back into these very beautiful, creative movies with beautiful storylines. Because I just felt like, one, it was rushed a little bit. 
and two, it it was just a simple storyline. Like I felt like I could have made that, and I just felt like it just needed a bit more creative thinking when it came to this movie. But overall, it was a good movie, and it's literally just a two star rating for me, guys. If you guys don't agree with me, that's fine. Like I said, this is my movie, it's my opinion, but this is how I felt about it because I felt like compared to all the other Pixar movies they give us, there's more heart, there's more creativeness into it, and this one just literally felt rushed and and you know just trying to produce another movie out there and they need to stop that especially with these recreations and I'm so not looking forward to Monster Inc the new one that's coming out because I'm very scared that this one's not going to be good because I know we all want that reunion 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 ah I can't even say reunion that we reunite it <laughs> reunion okay we all know we want that reunion between Boo and Sully but same time, I'm kind of fine not having that reunion because I'll leave it to my imagination that he went back to her. I'm, I'm kind of fine with that. I'm just nervous that they're going to ruin this for me. But other than that, guys, I got to go to work pretty soon. So, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye!